Hello, and it's Mama Moody Musings this week. And you'd think last week after I um, was talking about, I believe I've got to go look at my videos I sent to Orlando, but I was talking about a mass shooting. And again, uh, another one has happened. Like when... When are we going to do something about this? It doesn't need, like it to to go out there and like, oh, just be funny and do this and that when when our country is broken. It's not even broken. It's like it's toxic. It's got if you opened it up like it was a body, you would see stage 4 cancer. It's we are broken. The fact that after Newton happened 10 years ago and nothing was changed, here we are again. Same with the another cop killing an innocent black person. Oh, I thought that that would be the thing that would do it. No, no. Oh, okay, we, have, we need more? Really? For what? And I don't really ever say this, but... I, I say this to people that know me, know this. If I see a thin blue line flag, we are not going to be friends. In fact, what I, I, I literally have to stop myself from writing racist on it when I see it on cars. I saw a car parked with it. I was like, I should carry a Sharpie so I can write, you are a racist. I've seen people wear the shirt and I'm like, I stare them down. I don't know what I think this tactic is going to do. Make them aware. I, I have so much further to go with how I handle this stuff. Because I go to rage. I go to like, what the fuck, you know? And I, I think you need rage to make change happen. But uh, it's not. My rage is different. It's like, I want to beat you down. Rage. Um... It's probably something I can um, find something, a uh, speaker on We Align to calm that rage. I mean, I have worked on it quite a bit. I mean, if I didn't have Alan on, which is a 12-star program for friends and family members of alcoholics, it's definitely for my anger. I would be in jail. I don't, I'm not a drug user or anything like that, I, but I would be in jail because I would literally be like, excuse me, I see you have a sticker there that's pretty racist. Let's talk. And then i or punch them, but that's not how you handle conflict. So, um, something's got to change. And I can't just have the whole, we need to leave the country conversation with my husband. Like we need to leave the country. We need to go to a country that cares, that literally has something like this happen. And then they ban assault rifles. There is no human being that needs an AR-15. I have shot guns. I've held guns. I've shot a shotgun. I've shot a handgun. I've held an M-16. When I was over, I didn't let me shoot it, but I mean, I've held one. It's, nobody needs that kind of power. We just don't. You don't need that. Nobody needs an AR-15. You're not a combat. You don't need that. So why is that even up for like for purchase? Why is it that I literally can drive to Burbank right now and buy a gun? You know how hard it is for me to get to my network to find a gynecologist or to find a dentist for Chris? It like takes so much phone calls and this and waiting and um, okay, let's see if it goes through your insurance to get a dentist. But I can drive to Burbank right now. I can get off here right now, drive to Burbank. It'll take me longer to get there because of traffic than to buy a gun. That's our problem. And I don't want to hear you're taking our guns. I saw a tweet that was perfect. It's like maybe the laws that were set up from people that used to own people and who would be mystified by seeing a dishwasher operate, maybe we, that's not the kind of laws we need in 2022. I'm paraphrasing, but it was perfect. It's like, yeah, maybe what was made back then is not uh, what we need to follow. The right to bear arms. Yeah, you had the right to bear arms when literally people could just show up on a horse and shoot you. Okay, maybe you'd want a gun. And it was a musket. It did, couldn't do a fuck. Have you? I, I think there's a comedian who does a joke like loading a musket up and, you know. It's funny. Guns have evolved, but our laws have not. 
guns have evolved and our laws have not. Think about that. Just like prices have gone up, but our minima, minimum wage has not gone up. That's why we're broken. That is why we're broken. Okay, well, hopefully next week um, we'll be better. I don't know. Okay, bye.